Alexander Fleming was born in Scotland in 1881. He went to St Mary's Medical School, London, and after qualifying with a distinction in 1906, he became a lecturer until 1914. Throughout the First World War, he served as a captain in the Army Medical Corps. After the war, he returned to St Mary's. He was elected professor of the medical school in 1928. In 1928, while studying influenza, Fleming left a culture dish uncovered for several days. He then noticed that mould had developed accidentally on the culture dish, being used to grow the Staphylococci germ. The mould had created a bacteria-free circle around itself. He put a sample of the mould under his microscope and tested it against several types of bacteria. Fleming found that something in the mould stopped or slowed the growth of bacteria. Because the mold was from the genus Penicillin, Fleming named the part of the mold that attacked bacteria penicillin, but he was unable to separate the penicillin from the mold. It wasn't until 1935 at Oxford University, researchers Howard Florey and Ernest Chain came across an article by Fleming about his work with penicillin. They obtained a sample of Fleming's original mold and were able to separate and purify the penicillin. Flory began testing the penicillin on animals and found that it was non-toxic, did not harm living cells, as well as an effective antibiotic. Also, it did not interfere with the activity of white blood cells, the body's natural defense against infection. World War II had begun by the time their research was showing results. The main research and production was moved to the United States in 1941 to protect it from the bombing of England. Work began on how to grow the mold efficiently to make penicillin in large quantities that would be needed for thousands of soldiers. As the number of war casualties grew, so did interest in penicillin in laboratories, universities, and drug companies on both sides of the Atlantic. The scientists knew that they were in a race against death because an infection was as likely to kill a wounded soldier as his wound. Eventually, a method of mass-producing penicillin was developed. Fleming was given numerous awards for his work. He became professor of bacteriology in 1948, a fellow of the Royal Society in 1943, and knighted in 1944. In 1945, Fleming, Florey, and Chain shared the Nobel Prize in Medicine. Fleming died in 1955 and is buried in St Paul's Cathedral. More and more infections are becoming resistant to antibiotics, therefore causing an increase in number of deaths. Fifty thousand people in the USA and Europe a year die from antibiotic-resistant infections. We need to find a new antibiotic that can act against the new infections and would, as a result, save thousands of lives. Could that be you? Could you change the world?